Hey, welcome back to Neural Splendor. It's Joe here. And today I'm just going to give you a brief overview of an after treatment system on your typical Class 8 highway tractor. So let's take a look at what goes on in that system. So it all starts here at the exhaust housing or turbo turbine housing. And the black squiggle marks are soot coming out of the exhaust system and they're heading downstream into the DOC and the DPF. DOC or diesel oxidation catalyst and the DPF or diesel particulate filter look very, very similar. The difference is the DOC, you can see straight through it, and the DPF has closed cells. The closed cells are how they catch the soot. To the naked eye, it appears there'd be no way for the soot to get out, but the, the fine honeycomb of cells actually have porous walls that the burned soot that becomes a gas can travel through. If the catalyst and the DPF are in good working shape and have done their job, all we've got left over here on the right side is nitrogen oxide, heat, and some other inert gases. The big thing we have to take care of is the nitrogen oxides. And that's what the dust system is for. It takes those gases and it breaks them down into water and nitrogen. And that is harmless as it comes out the tailpipe. So now we've burned a fossil fuel and we've got a pretty clean gas coming out the pipe. When you think about it, that's pretty amazing. So let's continue on down the system and see what happens. The DEF injector that's mounted on a decomposition pipe is going to be injecting in a mist form DEF fluid, which is a mixture of urea and water at a 32.5% concentration. That in the heat will break down and become ammonia or NH3. So NH3 is going to be traveling down the decomposition pipe and into the SCR catalyst inlet. Here we have a unitized after treatment. The SCR brick is at the bottom. We've got the DPF and catalyst off. So you can see the decomp swirl plate up there. This looks like something off of the space shuttle. Hard to believe it's on a truck. Very efficient system. So in the SCR element, the NH3 or ammonia reacts with the elements and the nitrogen oxide and it breaks it down into nitrogen and water. The goal is to have all of the NH3 used up in the process, but sometimes some remains and we don't want that out in the atmosphere. So the last very end of the catalyst, SCR catalyst, is the ammonia slip catalyst. And that takes care of breaking down the rest of the NH3. Now we're going to do a quick recap of the system. The soot comes out of the turbine or turbo housing, travels down into the catalyst or DOC, there is an after treatment fuel injector labeled number one we didn't talk about earlier. Its job is to mist fuel in there if need be to make heat in the DOC. You can see the soot in the DOC is breaking down. The DOC actually helps burn the soot. Then it goes to the diesel particulate filter where it's trapped. It gets superheated, if you will, and is vaporized. Then we just have NH3 leaving the pipe. The DEF injector injects DEF fluid. The water is vaporized out of the DEF fluid and all you have is NH3 or ammonia that travels into the SCR brick with the nitrogen oxide. And the SCR brick breaks that down into nitrogen and water. We didn't touch on all the sensors in the system. We'll do that in another video. Now you have a clear understanding of what goes on in a heavy duty diesel after treatment system. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Neural Splendor. If you like the channel, subscribe below.